Hey guys, welcome to our Beachbody Fit family. My name is Becky Schrader and I am your Beachbody coach. This video is going to walk you through what you can expect from your 22 minute hardcore program that you just got, right? So this will help you get prepared and familiar with all the materials that you have. If you need to pause this video, dig through your package and follow along, you know, with the products that you were just shipped, that's fine. Uh, so this, just a heads up, this video will be a little bit longer than the normal ones. Okay. So let's get started. First thing, yay for you. You just bought your copy of 22 minute hardcore for sure. This came in the bag with your order. All right. So let's start there. Um, number one, when you open up the pamphlet, you are going to see two DVDs, a red one and a blue one. The red one contains all of your cardio workouts um, as well as your core workouts, okay? The blue one contains all of your resistance workouts. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight workouts in total as part of the program. There's an extra warm-up workout, which is about 10 minutes long. And then there is an extra bonus workout on here from uh, one of Tony Horton's other programs, P90X3. It's called The Warrior. It's great. Uh, it's 30 minutes long. Okay. But basically, as you guys know, before you purchase this program, right, all of your routines that you do, you know, cardio one, two, and three, resistance one, two, and three, every workout is 22 minutes long. That's really the key to this program is that they're short workouts. They're super efficient. They are military boot camp inspired. So a lot of um, body weight exercises, things like that. Okay. Just a couple things. If you have, um, what I would encourage you to do first thing is to pop one, pop these DVDs into your player and make sure that they work. Okay. Um, occasionally a DVD gets damaged in shipping or just something's wrong with it. And you want to make sure that you identify do your workouts actually play on DVD so that within your first 30 days, if you need a replacement disc, we can get that for you free of charge. Okay. That's about it on the workouts. Um, what you'll notice actually right here in the very first part of your program on the back is they talk to you immediately about logging into our on-demand workout library. This is a subscription that comes for free for the first 30 days with your package. You can log on to the internet from your, you know, Roku TV, Apple TV, your phone, laptop, tablet, whatever. And you can access your entire program, workouts, meal plans, getting started tools, lots of extras up there. You can access that all online. You can stream the workouts online and you can download the Beachbody On Demand app for your iPhone and uh, do your workouts and get access to your materials right there from your phone. Okay. So do not skip this. This is actually really key. If you travel at all, again, if you do happen to have a DVD that's damaged in some way or doesn't play, you can still get started with your workouts and your program right away from the day you purchase. You don't even have to wait for it to show up in the mail. Okay. Um, as your coach, I will have already told you that. <laughs> so you should know that already. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So once you open up your package here, right, you've got two DVDs and over here in this pocket, there's a bunch of materials and goodies, which we're going to go through now. Okay. The first things that you will see are some marketing materials. Uh, if you're not familiar with Shakeology yet, which probably should be, um, here is just some quick information on Shakeology, what, uh, why you might want to use it in conjunction with your program. Same thing with our Beachbody performance line. Uh, this is a line of supplements that you can use to enhance your results and enhance your performance during your workouts. Um, we'll talk about more about that here in a minute. And then this is your typical, like when you complete a Beachbody program and you submit your results to the Beachbody challenge, which is our company wide, um, basically search for testimonials and success stories. Uh, when you make the effort to send in your results, your pictures and your, and your story, they will reward you with a free gift. In this case, for this program, it is an official uh, coin that shows that you completed the program. Um, I haven't completed the program fully yet, but I'm uh, going to get that when I get done. Okay. So you guys can, well, also this, I'm sorry, this takes you through details on how to take your before and after pictures um, so that you can get a consistent snapshot of your state before you start the program and then again after you're done okay so check all that out again most of these materials are very self-explanatory i'm making this video just in case you want to have someone walk you through it and you can follow along okay 
um, the quick start guide, right? These always come in your programs, a very quick step through of what to do. I would start here. <laughs> um, you get a message from Tony, but this is the important stuff. I'll just walk it through step by step. Okay, sorry about the glare. First thing you're gonna notice is it says, you wanna set up your ration plan, AKA in military language, that basically means your food plan. What do I get to eat, okay? There's a very simple calculation here based on your uh, gender and your body weight to, and your activity level, like three categories, doot, 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 to help you determine what um, calorie bracket you're in for the meal plan. It's super simple. It's like plus one, minus one, plus two. Very simple math. Um, what you'll see is that then it correlates to a calorie bracket plan over here where you will use that later when you dig into the, the meal plan, which we'll go to in just a second. Okay, so you basically figure out your base calorie bracket. Then you use that, you know, tool that we just showed you to take your, your before measurements and stats. So that includes your weight and measurements all throughout your body. And they show you a quick um, guide here on how to do that. Moving on to step three. This is the PT fit test, okay? So we did this, we just started 22 Minute Hardcore about two weeks ago. And so we actually did this PT fit test on the day before we started. It takes five minutes, okay? But it gives you basically a baseline of your fitness level before you start this program. So you can, number one, see, do I need to, do I need to go into this knowing I'm gonna modify a lot of moves? And also two, to give you, again, that baseline for reference for when you check back and do it again in, a, uh, you know, a month's time and two months time, you can see how much you've improved. So don't skip it either, right? Don't skip any of this. Um, what you do is you just do each one of these moves for a minute as instructed, right? Just read through it and then note down what your capabilities were on this little paper, right? That's the easiest place to keep, it, right? So do your PT fit test. We did it this Sunday before we started just so that we didn't have to uh, do it um, on the first day when we did our workout, right? Just trying to save time, okay? And then it steps you through the workout calendar, right? What your workout action plan will be. So let's go into that now. Okay. In your program, you get this workout calendar. Woo, it's big. <laughs> but it basically gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what workout to do each day. Okay. So, you know, you start with week one. Um, in this program, you do actually get a day off. Some programs you don't, it's seven days. This one is six days. So literally you just follow the workouts that are listed on this plan every day. Just show up, look at your calendar, pop that DVD in and go. All right, there are some optional extra workouts here that come with the deluxe kit. So if you got the deluxe kit, you'll have access to those. If you didn't get the deluxe kit, you can either order the DVDs or when you log into Beachbody On Demand, you can um, unlock those workouts by paying the discounted extra fee to get access to them. Okay, so if you want more variety in your workout routines, that's a recommendation I would make is go on on demand and unlock those extra workouts so that you can weave those into your into your uh, sessions as designed, okay? Um, I was gonna say something else on this, now I can't remember. That's one thing I did notice about um, Hardcore before we started is that there's not that much variety in the workouts, right? You get nine different workouts, but especially for somebody who, um, you know, wants to do the same workout multiple times to make sure that you master the moves. This is a great program for some, I came into it being someone that really likes variety. So I was a little concerned I was going to get bored with how repetitive it is using the same workouts over and over. But so far two weeks in, I'm not bored at all. So keep that in mind. Um, the last thing I'll pr point out about this workout calendar is, um, you know, hang it somewhere that you're going to see it every day. We, we put ours on our fridge. So it's literally, you know, while I'm drinking my coffee, I look and say, okay, what are we in for today? Right? Don't fold it back up and put it away and then wonder, I wonder what workout I'm supposed to do today. Um, okay. So just follow the, the calendar as designed. It's eight weeks long, one rest day a week. If you need to have your rest day on a different day, this one is scheduled on Sundays. That's fine. Just start your program on a different day than Monday. Um, you know, so if you wanted your rest day to be um, Saturday, you could start day one on Sunday, right? You know, just move the calendar as you need to, but just make sure you do take one rest day a week to let your body recuperate and recover. Okay. Last thing on the workout, there's an optional ninth week of the program called hell week. <laughs> if that gives you any indication, it's hard. Um, they stack up a lot of workouts back to back 
in a in each day you do like three workouts a day um so you're really pushing your body but one thing to note is that if you do that not only is it a um you know personal capabilities challenge um but uh, it's going to get you like ridiculous final results okay so consider that as an option that's your workout calendar they do include um an extra card in here about hell week um that um you know just kind of lets you say hey i did it i made it <laughs> i survived um a couple things that if you're in our challenge group specifically that you'll have access to are we've made some um, little tracker sheets sorry that's super super bright i think it's better over here this is just something that i made up um a little chart that lists out you know the duration of each workout what equipment you need and then just a quick description of it um, especially when i'm starting a new program i like to have like a I don't always remember exactly what the workout is if I've only done it like once or twice. And so I like to have just a preview of what I'm getting myself into before um, I push play. So I hang this on the fridge right above my workout calendar so that every morning when I'm trying to wake up, I can go, okay, we're doing this workout. That one's 22 and we're going to add the core. So that's 12 minutes, you know, just give myself a preview of, of how the day is going to go. Okay. That's your workouts. That's your plan. Let's move on to the eating plan, the rations for results. Um, first off, I'm going to say I've done a ton of Beachbody programs and lately they're all starting to follow similar styles of guiding you through learning to eat clean, which I think is awesome. This plan in particular is now my absolute favorite and I'll explain why. Okay. It's really excellent. So, let's get a little closer so you can see. Okay, let's just dive in, right? Remember on the getting, st getting Started Quick guide, they had you figure out what your calorie bracket was. Same thing. Page one, if you didn't do it before, you can do it right here. Um, for my husband and I, we actually have different scores on this, but it ended up putting us in the exact same bracket. So that makes life easy, right? We can just follow the same plan. Um, next page. It tells you what your types of food are for your plan. Each one corresponds to a color-coded container. Okay, if your challenge pack did not come with these containers, you can purchase them from your Team Beachbody website. They are, I think, $10 for the whole set. Um, and they're really, really useful tools for learning how to eat clean without having to count calories and without having to weigh or measure your food. You just use these containers to guide you to the type of food you need to eat as well as the correct portion. They're already properly portioned. So I recommend getting those if you don't have them. Um, so that's what this whole plan is built off of these, is these colored containers. So this, the colors represent a type of food and then they give you a couple of examples of how to map out your food throughout the day, right? So for our plan, they're saying at breakfast, have a green container, which is a vegetable, have a purple, which is a fruit, have a red, which is a protein, a yellow, which is a carb, and a teaspoon of something, you know, maybe a nut butter or, or maybe you cooked something in oil. Okay, so they give you a complete layout for your entire day of like what types of food to have at each meal that you can follow. So if you don't know, if you're very new to clean eating and you don't, you know, aren't quite sure how to figure all this stuff out yet, just follow their recommendation and we'll get into how you pick what each of these are in just a second. Wanted to point out though, I did underline this, right? Because it says, to maximize your nutrition field guide, follow this layout, but you don't have to. It's not mandatory. You can mix them up however you want. He even says, you know, if you don't want to have a fruit in the morning and you want to have it as like a late night snack, that's fine. Move it. Okay. The food lists. I'm not going to go through these because this video will be really long, but in general, what this is, is based on each color of container or type of food, they give you a list of approved items. Okay. It's a long list. The only thing I'll point out about this is that the way they've organized it typically is that the better foods for you, the most healthy foods are at the top. So if you can eat your way from the top of the list down, that's the best avenue, right? So, you know, maybe you hate kale, don't eat kale, right? But just look through the list and go, okay, well, what of these veggies do I actually like? And which ones am I willing to eat on a regular basis? Pick those out, work those into your plan for using up your green containers each day, okay? Um, 
all of these foods are good. All of the foods that they put on these lists by color are good. There's no bad options, but they do typically put the most nutrient dense and the best, you know, nutrient dense and lowest calorie foods at the top. So I always look at the top first and then go down until I find something I want. Okay. So you've got a list of foods for every food group slash colored container. Okay. There are quite a few free foods, meaning you can eat as much of these as you want and they don't count against any sort of calorie consumption. Um, so things like, you know, lemon and lime juices, vinegars, mustards, herbs and spices, things that will make your food more interesting. So I highly recommend you get familiar with these and use them to help keep your food enticing to you so you don't get bored. Okay, hydration, hydration. This is something we talk about all the time in our groups, but it's essential for you to get the most out of your workouts that you stay hydrated. Drinking water is like a nemesis for myself and for many, many, many people. Just practicing staying hydrated is a challenge. So they just reiterate that it's extremely important. And then they give you some options so that if you're really bored with drinking just straight water, you can use all of these freebie options to mix it up, right? Whether adding in fruits, um, adding in herbs, adding in just something to make it a little different, right? Entertain yourself, entertain your brain and your palate, um, but do not skip the water. Okay. I love this. I love that they're starting to point this stuff out. If for some reason you do run into a plateau or you're like, I'm not getting the results I want. I'm hungry all the time or whatever, right? Um, they do give you leeway to change up your calorie bracket, to go to a different level. And typically if you've hit a plateau or you're not seeing the results that you want, it's because you need to increase your food, not decrease it. Okay. If you decrease your calories too much and you're working out really hard, you're going to run your body ragged and your metabolism is going to go into like protect mode. If you give it more food, it will actually raise your metabolism. Okay. So don't forget that. If you start to see a plateau, come back and reevaluate your calorie plan. Okay. So again, at the risk of this video being 30 minutes long, I want to go through these. They did an awesome job for you guys on this food plan. They gave you all kinds of tips. So I think back to when I was brand new to eating clean, I had no clue what I was doing. And, I, and the plans at that time were really complicated. I was so overwhelmed. They make it so simple for you. They give you time-saving tips on how to prepare your food. We always recommend that, you know, when you're doing these programs that you prep your food as much as possible to save yourself stress, anxiety, and time during your work week. So they give you like literally step-by-step -step on what to do for each type of food, how to best prep your veggies so that you don't waste a bunch of time every night doing that while your kids are standing there going, mom, I'm hungry, right? How to prep your proteins, your carbs, your fruits, everything um, to save, to, again, just to save yourself time when you're busy, which helps you reduce stress or associated with starting something new, which sets you up to stick with it and have success. So don't skip that either. <laughs> okay. Prep your food. Um, this is a great piece as well. Sorry. They talk to you to what to do about like basically maximizing your leftovers. Okay. So one recommendation when you're starting to eat clean and prep food is to cook more than you need and save the leftovers for reuse later in the week. They give you tips on how you can take those leftovers and repurpose them into something else so that you're not like, oh my God, I have to eat this chili for the next 47 days to use up this big pot. Don't do that to yourself. You'll get bored, stressed, and you will quit. Use those ingredients that you have surplus of to repurpose them into something else that will, again, keep your brain and your palate engaged and entertained. Okay, this is my favorite part. This is why I was like, oh my God, I love this program before I even started it. Herbs and Spice Protocols. This is page 31. Not only do they give you some spice recipes in the back, but they tell you what spices and herbs pair well with what foods. I personally was somebody who I'm fine eating stuff completely plain. Like, you know, put some black pepper on it. It doesn't need to be spiced and that's fine. But, you know, it's really awesome when you know how to pair like what do cloves go with? I mean, what, I mean, I would look at my spice rack and go, I would love to spice up my food, but I have no idea how. Um, so what they do is they tell you like what spice, like coriander as an example, pairs well with bell peppers, potatoes, onions, tomatoes, and root vegetables. It can also pair really well with beef or chicken, fish, pork, blah, blah, blah. It could even pair well with a banana. 
I mean, who thinks of that? I would never think to put coriander on a banana. I might not think to put anything on a banana except cinnamon. So this is really cool. If you're learning to eat clean and you don't know how to spice things up to keep yourself liking what you're eating, check out this page, whatever it is, 32, 33, um, 34. <laughs> okay, so they also give you some spice blends to mix up. So like if you need to have... Um, you know, like an all-purpose seasoning on hand just to, you know, season your meats or whatever, you can make that. Um, what's next? Supplementation we're going to talk about in a second, but they also give you lots of meal ideas. Okay, so again, if you're new to this and you're trying to figure out how to eat clean and you don't know where to start, check out these meal ideas. They give you like six different options for breakfast just to get you started, right? This could get you through your first two weeks of this program and really get the hang of how to prepare clean meals um, without having to like reinvent the wheel. Okay, they give you Shakeology recipes, they give you snack recipes and the corresponding containers that get used when you make these meals. They give you lunch, they give you dinner, and even better, they give you all kind of recipes for dressings and sauces. So again, you know, if you're going from eating a more decadent, rich diet and you're like, oh, all of a sudden I have to eat clean. Does that mean I have to have like plain baked chicken for the rest of my life? No, it doesn't. You can use all of these sauces and dressings, right? They give you the container that it uses. So you just factor it into your daily meal plan, but you can use all of these to keep stuff interesting. Keep it spicy, not hot spicy, but you know, keep it unique and interesting so that your brain goes, ooh, that's something I haven't tried before, or, oh, it's not the same plain baked chicken for the fifth time in a row. Keep yourself, keep your palate entertained and you will be much more likely to stick with this. Okay, there's lots of them. Green chili sauce, mojo sauce, peanut lime dressing. I mean, come on, this stuff sounds great. Okay, last thing in this book is the trackers. Um, if you're in our group, you'll have access to these, but they're you know, a multi-day version on the same page that you can literally print out. Um, you have access to our portion container cheat sheet. So it tells you what size all those cups are just in case you leave them at home. Um, but my biggest recommendation to you guys is track what you're doing, track what you're doing so that you know where you're succeeding and can celebrate it. And you also know where you're struggling and we can work on it together. Okay. So you have a lot, you have access in our group to lots of these different things. If you want to print them out, there's also a mobile app, which is linked in there. Um, if you're more digital. Okay. That's it. The rest of this is on just same old stuff. Okay. So let's talk about supplements real quick. Um, your package came with either a big bag or a big box of Shakeology. You want to have one of these every single day of your program, every single day without fail. It's the easiest thing you can do for your body every day. It's full of nutrients. It's like a multivitamin and a salad in milkshake form. Why wouldn't you do that every day? Do it every single day. Um, if you struggle to get your shake in, follow the wake and shake plan. Have your shake as your breakfast, get it out of the way, and then you can move on with the rest of your meals for that day. Okay, I'm about to have my shake now because I just worked out. Okay, supplements. I'm going to make my own personal recommendations on what supplements you use with this program, just based on doing it for two weeks and what I have found to be really helpful. Um, you can take this or leave it. If you want to cut this video off now, um, you don't have to listen to this, but, uh, cause you basically just walk through the base plan. If you decide you want to try the Beachbody performance line supplements, my recommendation is to purchase one of the sampler packs from your team Beachbody account. It's like, $25, I think, and you get one of every single one, every single supplement to try, right? See how you like it. See how it feels before you go and buy a whole tub. Okay. First things first, before I work out every single day, why is that so bright? Oh my Lord. Every single day I have this Beachbody performance line energize. It is a pre-workout formula. It's crazy bright yellow, but it's all natural. What it does is it snaps me out of that sleepy fog um, and helps me get really get my heart rate up and get energized, hence the name, to uh, deliver my best effort in my workout. Okay, it gets me over that I'm out of it funk. Okay, so I show up in my workout, I give it like 150%. I'm like, killer, right? 
while I'm working out, you guys probably have had like Gatorade before, right? If you're doing, uh, if you've done sports, um, Beachbody has the equivalent of a natural chemical free dye free Gatorade. I don't have any packets right now, but I'm just going to show you the box. It's blue hydrate. Um, you drink it. It's, it's also yellow. You mix it up and you drink it while you're working out to make sure that as you're sweating your buns off, that you have enough electrolytes in your system and enough energy to get through the entire workout. Okay. Once you're done, towel off. You're like, whoo, I'm about to die. I need some food. Beachbody Performance Recover. Okay. This is the orange flavor. It also comes in chocolate, which is delicious. I just happen to love this orange one because it tastes exactly like an orange sherbet um, push-up pop, which is like my favorite childhood popsicle ever. So I could eat the whole can right now. <laughs> anyway, this stuff is great. It's like 130 calories. You have it right after you work out to quickly get your energy back up and replenish your, your stores so that you don't crash. Um, here's the cool thing about this, guys. All of these. And we'll get to the last one here in a second. I just said it's 130 calories. You're probably going, Ooh, I'm going to add more calories to my meal plan. What? Because these are targeted calories, you have them specifically before, during, after, and I'll get to the other one in a second. Um, they don't count against your meal plan. They don't count as a container. They are extra calories, yes, but they are not gonna make you gain weight because your body is, and the way that they're formulated and the state your body is in when you take them is primed to quickly absorb and burn the calories right away. It's not like they sit there and convert to fat. So don't worry about that. They do not count as a container on your meal plan, but you should definitely utilize them. They help immensely, okay? So I've started having this one every day after I do uh, a hard workout and I'm like feeling kind of gassed. Um, I'll have that and then a couple hours later, I'll have my shake as like a meal, okay? The last performance line supplement I would highly recommend to you guys, this is the one I started with, is this performance line recharge. This is a vanilla shake. Uh, you can shake it up or blend it up. I like it blended because it turns into like a frothy vanilla milkshake. You have this like an hour before you go to bed. Why would you do that? Two reasons. Number one, these workouts will make you sore. They're going to make you sore in weird spots. And so again, back to, you know, tomorrow morning, day two of your program, you get up to go to your workout and you're like, holy crap, I can't move. My legs are so sore. And you don't give your next workout your best effort. That sucks. If you don't give your best effort, you're not going to get your best results. So that's why they developed these was to help you recover better so that you could then give better the next time around. Okay. So this particular one in this one in particular, you take an hour before you go to bed. Um, it's delicious. Number one, number two, it helps stop any sort of like weird late night food cravings you might be having it. You know, it's actually calories, so it fills you up, but it also helps, um, helps you not snack. Okay. Then the third, second thing is, is it helps you actually fall asleep. The, the Mylar or the Casey, the way casein in there helps you sleep. And what happens overnight is it helps repair your muscle fibers so that when you wake up the next day, you're not like hobbling around. This was a game changer for me in my last program. I, um, was able to give so much more to my workouts each day because I wasn't battling the soreness from the day before. Okay. So I think that's it guys. I'm going to cut this off right under 30 minutes. Oh my God. But anyway, this is an absolutely fabulous program. We are on week two. I'm going to be posting our weekly video recap and summary so you guys can get a look at the moves if you want. Um, but again, if you've gotten your package, my recommendations are open it up, walk through it with me, um, pop in your DVDs, make sure that they work, log into on demand to make sure you can get access there. Drink your Shakeology, make your first shake, try it. You're not going to knock it out of the park on the first try. It might be too thick, too thin, whatever. Start drinking your Shakeology and you will get better at finding the perfect recipe for you um, as you practice. And then contact me so we can pick your start date and make sure you're all good to go. And, uh, and that you can check out the follow on videos to this one about what equipment you need, how to take your measurements and how to make your uh, grocery plan. Okay, so that we can get food prepping. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, email me at fitnesswithbecky at gmail.com. Have a great day. Bye.